Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 11 of the My Player Career Mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the previous episode and I do apologise for yesterday's video as I'm recording this. You'll be watching this on Sunday, this is Friday for me. Uh, it was only a Career Mode wishlist video because I didn't really have as much time as I thought this weekend to prepare videos in advance. As I said earlier in the week, I am actually off to my grandparents this weekend so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to record any content while I'm there so I'm obviously making this in advance. Going to upload it and then schedule it. For Sunday so we are going to jump into this today we do have a game against Coventry we have been picked which is good and obviously if you tuned into the last episode if you didn't stop now but if you have then um, you will know that we scored a hat trick in the last episode so hopefully guys we can maybe continue that sort of form here today I'm not too sure I, I haven't played obviously much FIFA since I recorded the last episode of this and we obviously are a 72 as you will know and I would appreciate it, guys, if you do know my gamer tag, not to gift me any items um, at all. I will be quite pissed off if people start gifting me stuff from the catalog because I know other YouTubers have had the issue where someone gifts them loads of stuff and it ends up they they can't actually you can't accept them. They just automatically accept, and it will ruin not only this series but it will ruin you know the Arsenal career mode series as well. So please, if you do know my gamer tag, which I hope you don't, please do not you know go ahead and. Uh, send me any gifts through the catalog because I'm not really going to be grateful for them um, or mainly just don't send me any career mode related items because I don't want them you know I don't mind you sending me like boots and shit if you want to do that then knock yourself out with it but you know just don't go sending any stuff I doubt anyone would do that because I don't have the large, a large enough fan base but I just thought it would be worth mentioning but anyway we are obviously away today at Coventry hopefully we can pick ourselves up a win here maybe get ourselves another goal we're obviously in excellent form right now and I did change our boots to some nice Nikes and also gave us a long sleeve shirt just for a bit of a change makes us look a bit better and uh, that wasn't too bad of a start but yeah let's see what we can do in this game All right, Coventry have the ball here they're playing some quite nice football so far are they going to get a ball into the box Fleck here oh and a good well a mildly good clearance by our centre back Davies there going to mark this guy here Barton on the edge of the corner what can we do he's going to whip it in and Pickford's got it. Let's hopefully, guys. We haven't really had much of a chance so far in the opening 15 minutes. I feel it always takes a little while to get going in the My Player series. You know, the team always takes like a game just to actually get into the stride of things. But hopefully, that won't be the case today and we can actually have a good first game of the episode because I would like to score, you know, at least one goal today, if at all possible. Thomas. Barton here coming down the wing. Is he going to get a cross in? Coventry have played quite well nicely so far. They're going to better get a crossing. Come on. I need the guys to push up. Thomas here. He's going to pass it back into Barton. Barton's going to try and find some space on the edge of the area here. Is he going to get a crossing? What is he doing? He's just running with it. Let's get that off of him. There we go. Are you joking me? What? I thought I was going to get a yellow card for a minute. Oh, wow. So he got a free kick for my challenge. That was a bit light, really. Nice free kick into the area. Got the head on it, and that is way over the bar from Barton. Barton seems to be their most dangerous player so far. He's definitely been creating a few opportunities. Let's try a little long range shot. Oh, that was not far off actually. If you saw that, I did a um a little bit of skill and then just lobbed it from there. And that almost went in and we got a few uh, unlocks for that as well. Another 50, another plus one sprint speed, which is quite nice. That's a nice little ball through to us. What can we do on the edge of the area here? We'll try and do a fake shot again. We've done him with a fake shot. Done with another fake shot. Oh, ho, ho. fake shots in the box. It, it seems to be our only real way of beating defenders, guys, but it does actually work just, you know, getting that fake shot. We can't seem to get through the defence, guys. Every time I get close to the defence, the team just are too slow to pass to me and we just end up losing the ball, which is really frustrating. Hopefully, the manager will go attacking or something like that and we can actually get ourselves a goal or whatever, or even, a, even just a team a goal. Like, I would like us to win this game. That is the end of the game, guys. i got to say, I think at the end of the season, we will get an offer to transfer and we definitely will be moving from Yeovil Town when we go back there on loan. I, I don't want to play. I might even, in the January transfer window, actually ask for a transfer because I'm not going to lie to you, being a 72 overall in a league like this, we are wasting our time because our team are just so bad and it, it's really hard to play good football because I feel we could even get into the you know the bottom end premiership size like QPR etc. You know, we do have their quality. I, I don't think I can do anything as of now 
I mean, you know, we're on loan and hopefully we get called back in the transfer window because I would like to leave. I mean, I just feel like at the moment we're just wasting, you know, our potential here at Bradford and just in League One in general. I mean, even the championship would be a much better idea. We're now at 73 overall as well, so it's definitely, I think, time to move on um, after this season. Uh, very much at the end of this season, we will be moving on to a different team, I can guarantee that. I mean, as much as I like the Bradford team, and we've had some good good games here, you know, I'm actually going to put the, the game speed up to normal, just to see if in the My Player series it actually makes anything better. In the normal crimmer, I prefer to play on slow. It doesn't really change too much, but um, in here, I feel it might have an issue, so we will we'll sort of see how we do, but I did want to inform you guys that we probably will be leaving um, the. Uh, we'll be leaving Bradford at the end of this season, and hopefully requesting a transfer from Yeovil. And we can end up probably maybe at bottom end championship side. I know that Chesnoy Gaming is at. He's got an offer from Arsenal now, and he's only a 79 overall, so he's not far off of us actually. Because obviously we used the player boost, we kind of you know in a way cheated our way through the first overall. So we should get an offer hopefully from you know a bottom end sort of BPL side which is kind of what I'm looking for you know I'm looking forward to hopefully getting that that would be fantastic but we are into this game here and it does feel a lot better actually it feels like the game's flowing a bit nicer now that we're playing on um, normal game speed so whether or not it will make anything easier I'm not too sure but Martin here's got the ball into Loft Loft lost the ball back into Martin back into Loft back into Martin what are Gillian I'm gonna do back into Loft god back into Martin Back into loft. What are they doing? Oh my god, pass to someone else. Oh my god, it's into Heslem. I can't even say that guy's name. But what are they doing? They are playing so boring. Look at this. They're just holding it down here. They're not even trying to get across into the box. Come on, team. You've got to push. You've got to push. Come on, team. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Tackle there. Tackle there. Tackle there. Oh my god. It is. This is what I mean. Like, for our overall, we should be playing with. You know, much better players than this. I mean, we should even have players in the team that are better than us, really. And unfortunately, you know, here at Bradford, that just is not the case. That's a good shot. And by what almost looked like he was going to let that in. Let's have a look at that. That was actually quite a nice little strike by us on our weak foot. Cool. That was a decent amount of power on that, actually. Another chance here. That would have been a nice turn. That's a foul ref. Mark Yates, that is a shocking tackle, son. That's a yellow card easily, bro. Christ, this game's actually been quite interesting. I definitely feel adjusting the game speed has actually helped a little bit. It seems to feel the game's flowing a lot better. You know, when I play Karima, I don't really care for it. I like to have it on slow. I'm more of a build-up sort of person. But when I'm playing this, I feel it's good to let the team push themselves a little bit more because it seems to create more opportunities for us. That's a nice ball over the top. Oh, Hanson almost managed to get himself onto the end of that. That would have been nice. Ah, oh, what the frick was that? For God's sake. Take a shot here. That's like literally the first opportunity we've had, guys, in probably about 20 minutes game time. Like, I don't know when even when the last time I actually even showed you a highlight. It might have been even in the first half. This second half has been really, really boring. We have literally done nothing. Try and get a cross over there. That is a lovely cross. <sighs> Teammates, please. That, guys, is going to be the end of game number two. What a boring episode this has been. I do actually apologise, even though I typically can't do much about it. But that was a shit episode, in all honesty. You know, really, really nothing happened. It was just... Look at that. I mean, you can see there, we just didn't do anything, really. Very poor from us. And I've got to say, like, the team just are doing shit. Like, we are playing badly at the moment. And, uh, you know, as I said, I do want to take a move in, you know, the... Um, the transfer window. I don't know if we're gonna get picked here. If we don't, I will. Uh, you have not been selected, so we will just sim this game here. This obviously helps us get closer to the transfer window. You know, I would like to go back to the Oval and then hopefully request a move somewhere else. Our wages are quite high as well, at like 8k a week. So a lot of these teams probably can't afford us anyway. So hopefully, you know, we can actually um, do good. But in the next game, we will be playing against MK Dons. Um, Players leaving on international duty. Roy, Rory McArdle is going off to the Northern Ireland. Um, but you can see here, we'll have this game and probably the international break. Obviously, we're not going to be selected in the that. I don't think we've been selected for the England squad. 
So I'm not too sure why that comes up on our calendar, but then we will obviously not have the game against Yeovil because they're our parent club. So potentially next episode, unless we get picked in the England one, we'll be into December, hopefully by episode number 12, uh, episode number 13, sorry. So hopefully that will be good. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure recording again. Obviously, I really do enjoy these doing these videos. And as always, if you can smash five likes, that really does help me out just to show me that you actually want to see more. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there will be a button down below. It's completely free to subscribe as well. And until then, I will speak to you guys in the next episode.